So as you can see on the screen, I've been working on an authentication feature for my application for some time now, and I've learned something that has saved me hours and hours of development. So as you can see on the screen, right, we have the register page here, we have the login page here, and we have the password reset page over here, right? And you know, I was going through this, I was trying to code, and I was doing separate pages for every single one of them, okay? So like, for example, right, I made a register page, and then I would code all of this, design it all, and then this, and then I'd go to the login, I'd make a login component, design it and then do it over and over again for all three pages. Now, obviously that took me a ton of time. It was very clunky and it was quite annoying because, you know, I had to make them look the exact same. Instead, what I learned from a couple of these big YouTubers, guys, is that you're better off just making a skeleton display of what you want that is similar and then using that in different components. So here's what I mean, right? So in TypeScript, you can use interfaces, but which we'll get into. But as you can see, right, in this card wrapper um, file, we have a card and then the design. Okay, so we pre-designed what we want this to look like. And then rather than redesigning it over and over again, we just go into the login form, we go into the register form, call the card wrapper, and the design will automatically be there and just type what we need to type, which is like the form and the button and stuff like that. So here's how this works, guys. Okay, so essentially all we did was we created a card wrapper file and we called an interface. And if you don't know what an interface is, all it is is like a prerequisite for what you want in your uh, in your file or your component. Now, I don't know if this is in React. I'm, I'm like 99% sure that um, it's, it's not in React, but in TypeScript, you can do this and it's a huge advantage. And all it does for you is like, let's say you want a header title in multiple pages. What you can do is you can take, you can put header title in here and call it a string. And then where you want to input the header title, you can put it wherever you want. So for example, right over here, rather than just going to the login form, putting login and then going to the register form and putting register and worrying about the design and worrying about all those nonsensical things. What I did instead is I just created the card wrapper and then displayed it on here, displayed the header title. And when I went into the login form, I just wrote header title login back button label don't have an account. So as you can see down here, don't have an account and you know, show social, which is these things and the like. And as you can see down here, the back button label is the don't have an account for here and then already have an account for register. And then the href is just, you know, the where it takes us. So I, I just wanted to share that since, you know, I know some of you may not um, know this. It's just something that saved me, you know, a, 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 I was going to swear, but I'm not going to swear a lot of time. Now, in this sort of situation, it didn't really matter because I had a login and register form. But just imagine if you have like, for example, here, like a guides page and you want to create a bunch of guides, wouldn't you rather just create one skeleton and be able to create everything with that thing instead of a bunch of the exact same code, the exact same things, you know, just a thing I wanted to share. I hope you learned something new and it's just something that saved me a ton of time. So anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this short little uh, tutorial and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.